What if I told you that the new Tesla battery cost is going down by 50%? You should be happy to learn that Tesla cars might become even cheaper very soon. According to Elon Musk, Tesla established a cost-down roadmap through 2026 in five areas of effort during Battery Day. These areas included cell design, anode and cathode materials, the structural pack concept, and the cell factory itself. Since the event, Tesla has been making progress in all of these areas. With regards to the cell factory, the company is currently in the process of building and commissioning the Texas 4680 factory. When fully ramped up, this factory is expected to have 70% lower CapEx per gigawatt hour than typical cell factories, in line with what was described on Battery Day. Tesla is also continuing to explore opportunities for densification and investment reduction in future factory buildouts, such as in Nevada. These efforts demonstrate Tesla's commitment to developing more cost-effective and sustainable energy solutions for the future. Also, Elon Musk's company is making significant progress in several areas related to the new battery production. In terms of cell design, Tesla has not only produced the first generation tableless cell that was unveiled, but also a second, more manufacturable version that is currently in production at the Texas factory. With regards to cathode materials, Tesla is engaged in a number of activities in line with the Battery Day roadmap. For lithium, the Corpus Christi Lithium Refinery is set to break ground very soon, with portions of the facility scheduled to be commissioned by the end of the year. The refinery uses a sulfate-free refining process that reduces process costs, eliminates the need for acid or caustic reagents, and has a lower embodied energy. Moreover, the refinery produces a beneficial byproduct that can be repurposed in construction materials, highlighting Tesla's commitment to sustainability and responsible resource management. These efforts demonstrate Tesla's commitment to innovation and sustainability as the company continues to drive advancements in battery technology and sustainable energy solutions. Tesla has developed its own new battery design that has the potential to reduce battery cost by more than 50%. While the company has been working on bringing this new design to volume production, it has encountered some challenges in the process. In a recent conference call which followed the release of Tesla's Quarter 1 2023 financial results, the company provided a detailed update on its progress in producing the 4680 battery cells. Despite facing bottlenecks in the production process, Tesla is continuing work towards making this new battery design a reality which could potentially lead to significant cost savings and other benefits for the electric vehicle industry. Tesla's recent efforts to innovate and overcome these obstacles demonstrate its commitment to advancing sustainable energy solutions and revolutionizing the automotive industry. It is truly mind-blowing that with regards to cathode precursors, Tesla has successfully demonstrated a lower process cost and zero-waste water precursor process at both laboratory and pilot scales. Tesla is currently in the detailed design phase for incorporating this technology into the front end of its cathode facility in Austin. As for cathode production, Tesla has made significant progress with the installation of equipment and utilities at its new cathode building in the same Gigafactory. The company aims to begin dry and wet commissioning this quarter and next quarter, with a target to produce first material before the end of the year. The new cathode facility is a key investment for Tesla, highlighting its commitment to producing sustainable energy solutions in-house and controlling the entire supply chain of its products. Through these efforts, Tesla continues to drive innovation and progress in the field of sustainable energy, while also creating new job opportunities and supporting the growth of the sustainable energy industry in the region. If you're waiting for a Cybertruck just like I am, You'll be happy to know that the 4680 cell has facilitated Tesla's innovative structural battery pack design, which has been implemented in the production of the recent Model Y at Gigafactory, Texas. This revolutionary chassis and battery pack design is expected to be incorporated into all future Tesla vehicles, including the highly anticipated Cybertruck. This design enables a more efficient use of space and weight in the vehicle maximizing the performance and range of Cybertruck's electric motors. The 4680 cell technology combined with a structural battery pack design represents a significant advancement in the field of electric vehicle manufacturing worldwide, enabling Tesla to produce more energy efficient and cost-effective vehicles for the sustainable transportation market. That's exactly what Elon Musk wanted to have before mass-producing Cybertruck. 
In my humble opinion, one thing that gets many people confused is that the 4680 is a form factor, and Tesla and Elon Musk aren't just changing that and making it structural. They're using the new dry battery electrode process, which makes it a much more complex problem to solve, but has many more benefits. I am sure they could manufacture a 4680 with the same chemistry as the 2170 and make improvements in energy density, but they're more concerned with the cost which is more dependent on the DBE process. And the DBE process doesn't involve all the wet, toxic chemicals that need to be handled and disposed of, which further reduces costs. We all have seen how Sandy Monroe teardown showed the 4680 was less energy dense than the 2170 Panasonic cells. Also, too many Tesla investors misunderstand 4680 goal priorities. As Elon Musk once mentioned, the cost reduction is the primary goal both capex and unit cost reductions are imperative. The company needs to expand its market by offering lower priced vehicles. Secondary goals are improved density, reduced charge time, increased cycle life. If Tesla could produce battery cells 50% cheaper than today, but with similar range and charging characteristics, the company could create the Ford Model T of the EV industry. Notably, Tesla has seen significant improvements in pack manufacturing with the implementation of the 4680 cell technology in its structural pack concept. This design has resulted in a 50% lower cap X and a 66% smaller factory footprint while maintaining the same output in gigawatt hours per year. Tesla believes that the structural pack concept is a strong one, offering simplicity and efficiency in its design. The company plans to continue using this concept, structurally loading the cells and using the pack as the floor of the vehicle, while refining the design for future programs. The focus for the 4680 team in quarter one was on cost and quality improvements, highlighting Tesla's commitment to continuous innovation and refinement of its production processes. These efforts demonstrate Tesla's dedication to creating more energy efficient and sustainable electric vehicles driving progress in the field of sustainable transportation. Many core Tesla investors have missed the fact that Tesla has made significant strides in improving production efficiency and reducing costs in its Texas factory. Quarter over quarter, production has increased by 50%, driven by a 12% increase in yields and a 20% increase in peak rate. Additionally, yields have improved by 20%, contributing to a 25% reduction in cost of goods sold over the quarter. Moving forward, the priority for Tesla is to continue improving yields and reducing costs for the 4680 program as the company ramps up production in preparation for the launch of the Cybertruck next year. The 4680 program represents a significant investment in battery technology, enabling Tesla to produce more energy-efficient and cost-effective electric vehicles. As Tesla continues to refine its production processes and optimize its supply chain, it is likely that the company will drive further advancements in the field of sustainable transportation. What's more interesting is that Tesla is currently producing 4680 cells at a pilot plant in Vermont, but it plans to increase production volume at its Gigafactory in Texas, which is specifically designed as the Cell Factory. The company's decision to produce the cells at the Texas factory highlights its commitment to developing a more efficient and cost-effective battery manufacturing process. By centralizing the production of the 4680 cells in a dedicated factory in Austin, Tesla can optimize its production processes and streamline its supply chain. This will enable the company to produce the cells at a higher volume, meeting the growing demand for electric vehicles and other sustainable energy solutions. As Tesla continues to invest in its research and development, it is likely that the company will continue to refine its battery production capabilities, driving further advancements in the field of sustainable energy. With that said, make sure to like this video and share it with your friends who are still doubting Tesla. See you next time.